Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I walked over here and there was a squirrel on the side of the wall right there. And now it's up there. Oh, no, I'm getting the heck of what. Let's, let's leave this building. That's how they break into all the people's trash. Look, wait, he's about to climb the wall again. O.M. freaking G. <laughs> Good morning! Scout woke me up about 7.45 and yeah, we're just out for our morning walk and I'm still debating if I'm going to go to the mall and try to find an outfit or if I'm just going to wear the, something from my closet today. I don't know if this is a job for me, but I know that if it's meant to be, God will make it happen. But yeah, we're just good to do our morning walk. Scout's going potty right now, and then we're gonna head home. This actually feels really nice out here today. Feels, feels like 75, 80. But it doesn't feel like a hot 80. I don't know how to describe it. Feels a little bit cooler this morning. Look at this, kid. I'm eating my broccoli and Brussels sprouts and eggies. Back the heck I'm up. We got our oats right there in the bowl. Ma'am. I can't have one meal to myself without this little kid being here. Look at this girl. She done licked the bowl and licked the plate clean. That's back there on her booty cheeks, I'm sure. But don't worry, I'm about to go stick them in the, in the dishwasher and run that thing. I love you, but you is so crazy. You is. I love you, though. You need to hold hands. Okay. You're so sweet. Breakfast is over. And we've been on a dog walk. I just got out the shower. We are getting ourselves ready to go look for her, uh, an outfit. I, I'm going to go and look for an outfit. And if I don't find anything, then I can pull something out of my closet. But I want to find something cute and new. So we're going to go look for an outfit for this interview that we have at 3 in St. Pete. And yeah, we'll see how that goes. Just going to hit up the mall and I'm hoping Abercrombie will be my girl. The only thing is I'm five foot, so I have to go with petite options and sometimes that just means that I don't get to buy in store, but I need something today. Yo, I'm forgetting I have all these cute dresses. You know what? I'm kind of rethinking. I forgot about all my little summer dresses I just got. Well, I do need to blow up my hair some. They go ahead and finish getting myself together right now. But what I do really need to do if I'm going to wear one of those dresses is I have cute shoes, but I have not got enough pedicure in quite some time. My toes look disgusting. So I could go get myself a pedicure or at least go to Target and get some nail polish remover and get this old karate toe nail polish off. Hmm. Okay. Maybe I'll wear one of those dresses and then we'll just go and get a pedicure instead of buying a whole new outfit. I think we'll do that. We'll save ourselves the time going all the way to Tampa just to go to St. Pete this afternoon. Okay, I think that's what we'll do. And we'll just pick out one of those dresses. Solution! Here I was thinking I didn't have anything and totally forgot that I just bought dresses for the summer. Well, I am just going to get myself ready for the day. Eventually, I will get dressed for that interview. But for now, I'm probably, probably just going to put on like some shorts and a little chill outfit. Go get a pedicure. I need to come back and get a, get a spray tan. I need to come back and self tan. So that way, my feet and legs are not so pale. And I kind of want to look a lot more put together. Since it's a med spa, I feel like looks kind of matter, you know? I mean, I'm not perfect by any means. And I don't think they expect someone to be perfect. And I don't even think legally they can judge you based on your looks. But I'm sure they're looking for a certain type of vibe and maybe a certain type of look. 
since it's going to be the first person you see when you walk in the door. So I'm sure to some degree aesthetics matter, but heck, maybe I'll be able to get a discount on some Botox or something. That'd be fun. Um, anyway, yeah, we're just going to get ourselves together, finish our skincare, got to blow out this mane. I do need to make a little, um, Sephora or Ulta run, which I have been saying I need to do this for a while. I just literally haven't gotten there, but, um, I'm running out of shampoo, so it's time. We got to go get some verb shampoo and then the dream coat stuff that I need from Color Wow for my hair because... <laughs> My hair is going to be poofy today since I don't have that on, but maybe before I leave for the interview, I can like throw some extra heat over it and kind of curl it or flat iron it so it doesn't look so crazy. Um, but for now, we'll just blow dry it. At least we have our heat protectant and we'll be fine with that. Let me go pick out one of these dresses and show you what I'm thinking. Okay, so I was thinking this dress and it kind of clasps up here so it's not super low or booby. And then I was just thinking these little shoes and then I have that woven little purse. So yeah, I'm thinking this is the vibe. We are all ready to hang out at home and I think what I'm going to do is just have an evening in St. Pete, afternoon evening. Like pack a little outfit that I can change into to go on a bike ride near the pier because I've been wanting to do that. And maybe have a little cheap dinner out there, Chick-fil-A or something that's not too expensive. And yeah, but for now I've got to edit the morning little routine video and I might put a voiceover so they're doing ASMR. Just not completely sure what I want to say, but since it's two months since being laid off, I feel like I should kind of do a little update, you know? But anyway, I'm going to hang out with my dog and then, yeah, get ready for my interview, pack my bag to go on a bike ride and do that this evening. What is you doing over here? You is the most neediest little girl in the whole world. Okay, okay. What is, hold on, hold Hold on. Okay. Um. Okay. Do your thing, little girly pop. Ow! Do all dogs do this? I don't know, but Scout does this, and I have to, like, cover myself up and hold my blanket. Ow! We're just in here making a little bit of lunch. <laughs> I got my pita right here, and I mixed up avocado some Primal Kitchen mayo and my little EVOO tuna packet. And yeah, I'm gonna put that together, make a smoothie, walk this dog on a quick, quick walk. And I'm getting out of here to fix these little dogs right here for my interview. Yeah, Scout, you ready? You want your lunchy? Come on, time to eat. Let's go, girly. Trying to convince Scout to come look at the water for a minute. It's so beautiful. Oh my gosh, they are mowing down all that, like, there was some of this, like, kind of tall grass stuff right here. I don't know what it, you call it, but it looked like that. I don't know if it was that. Oh, in fact, you can see it on that side. All that tall grass, they're mowing it down on the side where I live. It's all gonna be gone. I guess it's gonna be way safer because I'm sure gators could be like right there at the edge and you would never know because of all that tall grass. So I'm not quite sure if they're doing it for that or they just once a year they come through and do this. Water looks so peaceful, so serene. If there was a gator out there, they're hiding right now with all this turbulence by their habitat. So peaceful though. Y'all, if I was gonna get a pedicure before this job interview, I should have left this morning to do that after I got done drying my hair and getting dressed. But I went immediately to editing my video, putting that up, and then earlier this morning, I had seen a TikTok of a girl talking about, I've been working from home for three years and I know all y'all been looking for work from home jobs. 
And with all the natural disasters our country and world always has these days, like FEMA is always hiring and you can apply for such and such a role. And when I went to go look at it, I found it. I went to go start the application process and I think it would be best if I got this like background check done before. But I don't know how to do that. And I was like, oh, I don't have time to research that. So then I went immediately into making lunch and now we're outside. So I think, and I haven't even done my makeup or put on my outfit for the interview. So I think what I'm going to do, I haven't even prepped myself. Like normally I go over to like ChatGPT, like AI or Google and ask like, what are some really great interview questions to ask? So <clears throat> I kind of wanted to do that because I've never worked at a med spa and I kind of wanted to have like a short list of a few questions that I can kind of memorize keywords out of so that way I kind of can make them into my own question because I feel like it's always good to ask questions at interviews. It shows that you're engaged and all of that, but I don't have a notebook. So now I've got to go home, get dressed, throw some makeup on fix the hair if it needs any fixing from the frozen humidity. And I'm gonna have to go to Target and get like nail polish remover. What sucks is I had a bunch of my old apartment and because I don't do my nails anymore, I was like, oh, throw all of that away. I threw all of that away, but I could have gone ahead and take the polish off my toes. They got these done in North Carolina. That's how long I've had this pedicure toenail polish on. Really long time. Now I need to wrap scale up so that way I have time to do all that. Head to St. Pete 30 minutes away and go to this interview and be there on time at 3. If not, I like to be there like 10 minutes early to an interview just so like I can calm my nerves. I also feel like it looks a little professional when you're a little early to interviews and you're waiting um, rather than just showing up right at the time of the scheduled interview. So, I mean, that's just me. And that's in a perfect world, of course. Sometimes things happen, might be a couple minutes late, but I rare, rarely am ever late to an interview. But anyway, I'm gonna try to figure out how to do the security clearance saying it apply for this job. Because it's like 16 something dollars an hour. It's work from home and it's like, if I'm gonna make 16 something dollars an hour being a waitress or whatever, why not make that from the comfort of my home where I don't have to spend my gas? That's the only thing that kind of gets me is like, yeah, I want one of these kind of easy kind of jobs, but these easy kind of jobs are gonna come with low level pay. And then I'll have to chunk out for my gas tank and put miles on my car and have to get gas or the oil change and all of that repair stuff. And it's just like, ugh. I've grown too accustomed to working from home and the soft life that comes with working from home. Roll out of bed and throw on your headset and you're good to go, you know? Final little fit check. Okay, final little fit check before I leave. I'm bringing my shoes since I have good target, get nail polish remover, but put on some makeup just a little bit. You know, I'm not a makeup queen. I like the little bits, but yeah. Gonna put on my shoes before my interview. Got my little woodman purse. I feel like goes with the vibe of the outfits. And I was on FaceTime with my daughter just now, and she said this dress is has shows too much boob. But I don't think so. If, if you're looking at me like this, then maybe yes. But I think if you're looking at me like normal, I feel like when the dress is just, I don't feel like it's a lot of boob. I don't know. I just don't feel like I need to dress business casual for this interview. I feel like it could be a little dressed down. I mean, for heaven's sakes, they texted, texted me about this interview. I've never gotten texted out of an interview since being in corporate America. Corporate America is a phone call or an email, never a text message. I even thought it was a scam, but they gave me the address that was listed on Apple Maps for this um, spa. So. I don't think it's a scam. I basically killed that interview. The only thing is they could probably only give me $16 an hour and that's like probably half 
if not a little less than half of what I was making at my last job. And I'm like, can I even survive off of $16 an hour? Uh, I mean, maybe I could, but I would ha absolutely have to budget and I absolutely have to cut things out like my HelloFresh, use food stamps, <laughs> and live off my savings. Because who can work for $16 an hour in America? But I kind of want the job at least for the time being because the job market for corporate america is so dry i mean i'm gonna keep applying and applying but at least this will give me some kind of cushion rather than sitting at my house and making no money um i don't know if it's gonna be full time they could part me between st pete a clearwater location and tampa which all are about anywhere from 10 to like 40 minutes from my apartment um which isn't the worst but it's like i don't know i kind of just gonna have to see how that how i'm gonna be able to make that work <laughs> i want to work out in the world i want a, a little easy desk job like that maybe i could do it for like the year and figure it out and just keep applying for higher paying corporate jobs just to see how that goes, but I don't know. I'm. It seems like they're basically going to give me the job. That's what it sounds like. They have a few more interviews, they said, but they really liked me. And they liked that I had all this experience in corporate America and that I'm a little bit older. So I have, I'm mature because they want someone that would open and close and handle like cash and customers. And when you're getting like Botox and fillers, you know you're spending a grip every three to six once a year whatever you know so they want someone that is going to be able to handle customers of that caliber you know so yeah i might do it for funsies we're going to keep applying for regular big girl jobs because who can live off of 16 dollars an hour but it may be fun to do for a little bit and Give me a little chunk of change while I figure out things. I came home from an interview. I just walked in the door and changed. And Scout's sleeping in her little doggy bed. She loves it. And for some reason, she loves to sleep like that in her doggy bed. Even though she can sleep the other way and not be hanging off the edge. That's what she enjoys. Strange. Visual representation of what my life has become. I am a slave to petting this little girl and I have to get her like inner thigh, upper belly area over here. Ma'am, you are hanging off the edge almost. You like a little danger? <laughs> oh my gosh, what a little crazy kid. Your wish is my, or your wish is my command? I think that's what I'm supposed to say. You cannot be comfortable. How about you come up here? You're making me nervous. You're making me nervous, mama. I love you. Let me hold you. I'm gonna come grab you. No, I think we got it together. I love her. I wish I didn't have to work and my only job was to hang out and hold her every day like this. I want to get paid for for holding my doggy. I love you. I love you. You're my nugget. You're my little nuggy nug. I love you. Why am I over here convincing you to go on a dog walk? Yeah, let's go. I don't need to be out here. I go potty inside. Thank you, ma'am. Let's go. Now that they cut all those trees down, you can, or trees, I mean grass down right here. It's beautiful. The water looks so like 
the canal looks so much wider, at least in person. It's probably not translating well on camera. But can't see a gator in sight. But just so peaceful. Oh, some very brave people on the water over there canoeing and fishing. Couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Absolutely not. I just got done filming my little nightly reset and cleaning my kitchen. And yeah, I'm getting, I'm sitting down and getting ready to edit and then post back to places. And someone's begging to come up and hang out with their mommy because they were on the bed sleeping just fine. Okay, hold on. Let's get you up. Oh, now we're up. I love you. Um, yeah, tomorrow is the first day of fall officially, and it's my first fall in Florida. So I thought we might do a little celebration tomorrow. I was thinking about going to Starbucks and ordering all of the fall drinks, even though I hate them all. And we'll do a little taste test to see if maybe my taste buds have changed. And I like them now? I don't know. I think that might be a little fun video. And then I want to redo my intro for all my videos that I, that I put up on my vlogs. I have an idea in mind and I went to try to execute it around dinner time, but it started to get really cloudy and stormy outside. So I couldn't do it. But tomorrow's a new day and I'm going to redo my intro for the vlogs. So I hope you guys like it. But anyway, I will catch you guys tomorrow. Thanks for hanging with me. Maybe we'll get a job tomorrow. Who knows? Ow, scout. I'm her literal pet sleeve. Petting sleeve. I love you. Can I have a moment? Um, well, I love you guys. Thanks for hanging with me and I will see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday, Friday Eve. Let's get pumped and high. Scout, do you have anything else to say for the night? Huh? Are you gonna be good? You don't have anything else to say. All right.